On this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to format text on your page or your blog post. So when you copy plain text into the page or blog post, um, you have just straight text listed out. And what you want to do is you try to do some, some tactics in order to break it up, make it a little bit more visually appealing. So for example, you separate long paragraphs into you know, one, two, three paragraphs. You can go and insert subheads to sort of break up thoughts and start new thoughts. Um, you can create lists. Lists are always a good way of, of highlighting key benefit points or pros or cons to a particular subject. But you can also want to apply style, like perhaps you want to format something so it appears bold or maybe italic, and there's a couple of other things we can do. So I'm going to show you how you can apply style formats to the plain text. We're going to go into the dashboard, click on Pages. We're going to navigate to the page we want to edit. In this case, it's the green services. And we're going to go through the process of just um, using this word processor style function to go and apply formatting styles. And just like you would on a word processor, you highlight the text that you want and you click on B for bold. It's as simple as that. You could isolate one word, you could isolate a whole paragraph, whatever you think is going to be visually appropriate. But the important thing is decide on a style and then be consistent throughout your website. So here in this case, I'm going to have a consistent style that the subheads are always bold. If I wanted to make some particular words, maybe proper nouns that I use over and over again, make them uh, italic, just to make them stand out from the regular text, we could simply go and go through the document, find everything that I would think might be a proper noun, click I, I for italic, and then when we reload the page, we'll see that demonstrated. So I'm going to save by updating the page. I'm going to go back to the live site, refresh this page, and now you can begin to see things that we applied. The italics, the bold, italics, bold. Now that's helping to add formatting, but there's still more things you can do. So for example, if somebody had a quote you could use a tactic called a block quote to isolate out a specific a specific comment made by someone. Say this whole thing was a quote. We could highlight all of this text, and then you click this little button called B quote for block quote. What that's going to do, it's going to set it apart um, with a bit of indenting to separate it from everything else. If I click update and we reload this page, now you'll see that we've managed to isolate the specific thought and separate it out from the general paragraphs on that page. Let's talk about lists. You could have an ordered list or an unordered list. Ordered means every line item would have a number in front of it automatically put in. One, two, three, four, five. An unordered list would just be bullet points. Bullet, 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 bullet. So if we go into our editing, scroll to the part that we want, and here's what we do. This is a little bit more tricky. You have to go and start by putting in these tags for what you want. So in the case of an ordered list, we're going to start with a OL for ordered list. We're going to highlight each line item in that list and click on LI. And then here at the very end, we need to click on OL again in order to close the tag. So that way we have, this is the structure of an ordered list. It starts with OL for ordered list. Each line item in that list is, has to have this open and closed LI tag. And at the very end, we close this again. And if we wanted to do an unordered list, which is just bullet points, same process, except we click UL for unordered list. And once again, we highlight every item in there. And you know, as you do this a few times, it'll become much faster for you in second nature, so don't feel intimidated by this. It's just a way of doing a little bit of formatting, make it look like a word processing document. And then here, when you're doing, uh, again, since we picked unordered list UL, got to make sure we close that with a UL at the end. And that's it. That's the difference. Ordered list unordered list. Click Update. 
and we're going to reload this page. Now you can see the difference. The ordered list has numbers, the unordered list has bullets. For consistency, I would recommend always try to use one particular format on all your pages. I prefer unordered lists generally. Um, and try to avoid very lengthy lists. You don't want to have more than you know, 10 items in there unless you can sort of chunk it out. So maybe if you're going to have a, a multiple lists, try to categorize the items in here. So maybe these become all of your, you know, your positive reasons for doing something and then the list. And then you can have negative reasons for doing something, have a list. And that way the reader can be attracted to particular groupings.